Alright, this is a recording of a game I just played against Exostorms, or Exostorms, whoever knows how to say his name. And he swarmed me with AKs. He built like three labs, or maybe four? I have no idea. But he, he sent so many AKs, I had no idea. It, it, it looked like he was cheating. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see here if he's actually cheating. No, joke. He's not cheating, but it was fucking crazy. I'm, I'm blue, he's red. And I didn't get the memo that this was a wind map. Obviously, I'm going solar. Let's speed this up a little bit. Let's go to game speed 10. There we go. He's giving me hints on guardians and toasters. Never build them. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if that's actually valid. Probably is. This guy's like beat me so many times. I believe anything he says. Alright, so four metal extractors and five windmills. Let's get in the K-Bot lab up. I've already got my K-Bot lab up. Doesn't matter. There we go, another windmill. Just keep building, we'll just keep building windmills. Get the mite out. Claim some metal. That mite's already out. I'm already getting metal. I got two mites out. So supposedly I start strong and then it fizzles out from there. Trying to get better at my uh, my middle game. Starting game is actually not that bad right now, but it's it's hard because it, the further you go into a game, the more you have to think strategically and you have to figure out uh, how to adapt to uh, the the scenario, the situation. So he's got let's see, one might, two mites, one con, and five AKs. Probably just shift clicked. Another con. Three minutes fifty seconds. He's going for a third con. That mite's not doing anything. This mite's going around, sucking up rocks. A fourth con. Oh my god, a fourth con. All right. AK's headed my way. I only have one con. <laughs> what is going on? No, no, I have two cons. And need to get rid of trees, the D-gun is helpful, apparently. Or not. He just ended up reclaiming them. So he's at 9.3 metal and he's going for two additional labs. Two additional labs. He's got eight windmills and two, three K-Bot labs. So at, three, at 17, no, 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 he's got 11 income, 11 metal income, and about 227 energy income. Four labs. His comm is building a fourth lab. Looks like the mites are, are busy. He's using a lot of metal. He's got a mite one mite south and he's expanding east because he's got doesn't have to worry about uh these hills right here. And he's got AKs over my area. Let's see. I'm attacking him right now. He's got shit tons of AKs over there, so it doesn't matter. He doesn't, he doesn't care about that. <laughs> That's me seeing his labs. Four labs. Never seen that ever. Alright, I'm getting getting out of my base. Expanding. He's not built a single light laser tower. Not a single defense. He's got 13 metal income. Oh, no. We're about equal on, on income. Yeah, we're equal on income here. But he's, he's got four labs. He's got four labs. Let's see how many AKs do I have? About, like... I've got around 10 or so. No, 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 I've got 20, 25, 30. I've got thir about 30 AKs on the field, and he's got about an equal amount of number, but he's expanding. He's got 17, what is that? 17.5, no, you can't really tell that easily because he's got too many mites going around sucking up metal. It's not really an accurate number. Let's see, do I get that mite? Yeah, I randomly, by, by luck, get that mite. I'm not even looking over there. I might even win that one battle, but it doesn't matter when he, he's got four laps. He's not using one of them now. I don't know if, I don't know if that's intentional or not. There we go, now he's using them all. 19 income, I suppose that sustains it. And are there any cons assisting? 
Doesn't look like there's any cons assisting that cons just idle. Yep. Taking lots of cons. So once he gets I guess the strategy is this. You get some energy up, you send a con uh well no. You get some energy up, you get some metal, two mites, one three cons, and you get your labs up. You just try and uh box the enemy in a little bit. You don't attack too much, you just get one unit, so you kinda like make one piece out of a bunch of AKs, and you have those AKs just kinda skirt around the enemy, pressure and harass on the angle, uh, the, the corners, the outside of the enemy, the outskirts of their expansion, so try and bound their expansion in. And once you have their expansion bound in, you create four labs, or however many labs, you, you create your production, and after you create your production, you just kind of build. You build units. You get about enough to defend your base from whatever the enemy has. And uh, after that, you send that out. Make sure that uh, your enemy is not within your limits. And you send that out to attack your enemy's base. And then you expand some more. Very solid expansion. It's only going to the top right. It's not really expanding anywhere else. Very controlled. Maybe that's just a result of my boxing him in a little bit early game. Who knows? <sighs> Bad idea on that Geo right there. Should have built more AKs. Uh, there's that con doing nothing. I think I just realized I had a con there. Apparently that's enough energy. Let's see, 451. How many windmills? Eight. Like about 20. 20 windmills. Building LLTs. Formation of three metal extractors, and you put the LLTs in the middle of the triangle. Interesting. The con's not doing anything. Doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't have energy. Doesn't have to worry about metal. It's energy that, he has, that he's worrying about. Some towers get demolished. Oh no, actually, we can hold him off here. It doesn't matter though, he's got this piece over here. He's got this piece over here. Yeah, mm, that's where it goes down. We can send those ones, but it's not in time. Meanwhile, he's building more windmills, two cons on energy. Three labs building AKs, another lab building whatever special team unit is useful. Let's get the commander on that assisting. It's currently idle. Probably needs more energy for that one to be operational. More LLTs. That's that's probably what's killing all the energy. He's building uh, LLTs. And he advanced cave out lab by the all the LLTs. I could probably take that up. I knew where that was, but oh, I exposed my position. He's got. Too many pieces threatening me over there. Stacks on stacks. <laughs> Four labs. And an advanced lab. Just. Mass in the AKs. Look at those. Look at all those AKs. <laughs> oh my god. That's a lot of AKs. Yeah, so if my commander walked into that, my commander would be dead in a second. And just shred everything. And tech one unit too. I thought levelers might, might stem the tide, but... I don't know. Probably need like Mavericks or something, but even Mavericks would work. I 
couple of others and just burst with the AKs. Does a pretty good job. He's dying, actually. He finally survives the swarm. This is the swarm. I think that lab is finally up. Yeah, that lab's finally up. Making advanced K bots. I think he's got two advanced construction K bots. And he's busting out the cans after two advanced construction K bots. Still on the AK swarm, he's got to keep the pressure up. And that is a lot of pressure. That is a lot of pressure. There's a strategic position that's not so strategic. Probably be better if it was right over here. Right over here. Yeah, those, those don't survive. <laughs> that might have been a good idea for me to just lay mines, but... Didn't, didn't get that idea quick enough. Two cans, two cans, three cans, more cans, cans and AKs. Going, going there, I wouldn't have done anything at this point. He would have, and at any point really, he would have just made pulverizers. And he's got, he's got so many cons that it wouldn't make a difference. At this point, it's probably already G. That, that's GG for sure. <laughs> that would, that would have been GG. No, that, that was GG. The surprising thing is that none of these AKs kill my lap. I'm able to kill them all soon enough. But he could have timed that attack a little better. He could have attacked from here at the same time. Just sent a few. I'm just, I'm just so awestruck by this game. It's like cheating. It's like cheating. Oh man. So many. Meanwhile, I'm expanding over here. Doesn't matter though. Anyways, that's that's all you need to see. That's all you need to see. He's got three mohos up. His income is around 47, 32. And he's got heaps, heaps of wreckage fields that he can reclaim. Because he's got the unit control, he's got map control. He can send in scavengers there, no problem. And the cans. There we go, finally a Geo. 25 minutes in, we get our first Geo. No? Yeah, is that our first Geo? 25 minutes in, we get our first Geothermal plant. That's how you do it. Until then, <laughs> just make windmills. Until you get a thousand energy, just make windmills. I guess that's how you do it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you play core. Spam the hell out of AKs. Build four, four T1 labs. Spam the hell out of AKs. And then when that did that gets boring, when that gets old. Send in <laughs> like ten cans. Well that's eight. But you get the you get the idea. No, it's it's at least it's at least ten. That's more than ten. It's a lot more than ten. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helps. Uh, hope this helps me. I wish I could play this good. <laughs> and the player playing core is EXZO Storms. Ciao.